So just wanted to do a really super quick introduction to this, my brand new bike, which is the GSX-R 750K8 in all black. You can see this a little bit more on the channel, so I just wanted to do a quick introduction. Now, a couple of months ago, I did a little um, video discussing which bike I would get next, and I had some great options in there, including the R90, the Z900 RS, and a couple of others. And I've ended up stumping for this one. Main reason is because, in my opinion, this is an absolute iconic bike in this in this all black colorway. They never did it like this since, and you know they're, they're actually not selling GSX-R 750s anymore in the UK. Um, so you know while they're still in good nick on the marketplace, I thought I'll pick one up, and that's exactly what I did. I found the best um, quality one that I could see. I uh, didn't really mess around with the price, I just bought it and I think this is going to be um, a really great uh, bike for me. Now I did go for the 750 version as opposed to the 600 and I'm really glad I did because the mid-range on this is just perfect in my opinion. I think I'd have been looking for that little bit more, I'd have gone for the 600 version so I'm super happy with it even though it cost me a little bit more on insurance and fuel economy and stuff like that. Although the fuel economy has actually been really good and I've put uh, a thousand miles on it so far in the last six weeks and it's averaging about between 130 and 150 miles a tank which I think is really really good. Um, now the bike is pretty much standard apart from uh, the previous owner's put a couple of little bits on it. He's put the GPR uh, full system exhaust on it so it sounds an absolute beast while I'm not like overgone on the end cam. It just sounds awesome. I'm going to fire it up for you in a second. Um, he's put these uh, donkey levers on, which I just think is pretty awful. Plus this little um, headband thing over the brake fluid reservoir, which is uh, pretty random. So a couple of little bits to do, but you know, overall it's just standard. It looks good. It rides incredible, absolutely incredible. And you know, it's such a sharp bike, so fast. And it's like every other bike that I get on afterwards is just sort of a bit loose, a bit, a bit flat really and so um, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing um, but you know I'll be doing a proper review this is just an introduction because you're going to see this bike a little bit more on the channel a little introduction and the full review will follow afterwards but so far absolutely love it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 